So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? If it is something you cannot see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? Huh. And this thing in the house, is it alive? I see. And is this threat human, or is there some other fear that you would like to talk to me about? It's not you. Is that you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. This is very interesting. Your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Hmm. Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game now, is it? Now, let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty? So, you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then, and charity? Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Oh, well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to.
Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Oh, full of surprises. I think I'm beginning to understand you far better now. Oh, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time. Don't be too hard on Joshua. He's been through. He's been through so much. But you know that already, don't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense out there, aren't they? Is the night going the way you hoped it would? Hmm. I see. And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? I'm trying to help you. And this game you're playing. You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. And I can't say that you've been very charitable in the way you play. Self-indulgence? Do you even believe that I am real? Ow! The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? I doubt it. by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. <laughs> your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Now, why did you hurt him? It's yourself that you despise, huh? You've already admitted as much. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope 
that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from this terrible isolation. I wonder how much these sessions are of any help to you now. You just won't listen to me, and things seems pretty... <laughs> ...fucked up. Hmm. So I I'm gonna leave you now, Josh. It's time you learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat! You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help, but at every turn you choose to push them away, and now you're all alone. <laughs> so by the sounds of things, you won't be alone for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Deep breaths, Josh. Deep breath. No. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. No. No. You're not real. We're all alone down there. No, no. No, 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 not again. I swear, I swear I tried to find you. Oh! 
Look, there was a cross here. So this is where she was buried. But who dug her up? Let's keep moving. It's okay. You sure? I'm not dead yet. Famous last words. <gasps> oh, this shit. This person hit me my fingers. Ooh. I know, I know. Just keep moving. Nobody likes cold buns. Although yours are great. Never mind. <gasps> Wait a minute. I thought you reached the deepest part. Well, I didn't say that. I said, you okay? Like, there weren't any sharks or anything in here. Sharks? Great. Thank you. It's the only way I can survive anymore. If someone finds this, I'm sorry. I had to. I had no choice. What does it mean? Jesus. Oh, God. It makes sense. That's... Michael. It's ridiculous. Michael, it has to be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Beth died in the fall. So what? What does that mean? So Hannah must have buried her. God damn it. God damn it. Hannah was down here. I don't believe any of this. She would have been starving. She would have been desperate. Fuck! We need to find Josh. Right now. No, 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 I don't, Josh. I don't take orders from you. I don't take orders hey. from you, you can't, hey, Josh. you can't tell me what to do. You can't Josh. tell me what to do Buddy. anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, okay, okay, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you. He's tripping or something. Josh! M M Mike. Josh! Hey, man. Oh, don't, don't hit me, please, please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Josh, Hannah was down here for weeks, a month. She dug Beth up. Sam. Mike. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay, Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Here. Oh, God. See that over there? 
That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. There's no way Josh is gonna make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. You bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all meet at the lodge. Be careful. Hey, you too. All right, let's go, you fucked up son of a bitch. You didn't, you didn't have to hit me so much, man. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. I was wrong. No. No. Terrible. It'll look worse if we stay out here. Come on. should do. We should check the basement. Might be someone left down there. If there's anyone left, they're probably in the basement. How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Oh! Run! Get out of here! Go, 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 go! Oh, my God! Run! Don't. 
No! Ah! Uh, the old man, I, uh... I, I don't know how to describe him, I mean... You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah, we... <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? And if he attacked you? He saved my life. And I watched him die. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face, right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. I was right there, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. How did you end up in the mine? Carried and um, taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He was out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us. Okay? And... I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. I thought we were close. After his sister's disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought... I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. I... I stabbed him, and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Didn't know? Who did you stab? Oh, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho. And how was I supposed to know Josh had all the sauce and the gun and, oh my God. Where's Matt? Is he okay? Are they done looking at him? I'm just a little worried because, you know, I'm his girlfriend. Did he tell you that? I mean, I probably wasn't his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. He knows. He, he said he knows, right? Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. <sighs> Not me. Mike. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. It's terrible. Isolation. Well, I hope for your sake, Joshua, that you can find redemption.